we've got another Texas cold front coming in. So coming up early next week, I think it is. Well, I think it's starting Sunday. Temperatures are supposed to drop down to 15 or so, which as we all know for Texas, that's very cold. But so I figured I'd go ahead and check all the jackeries, make sure everything is charged up. And they've just been sitting, the, the Jackery 500s have been sitting. We haven't used them in a while. So it shows 100%. But I'm going to show you something here so you can check to see if it's actually still 100% charged. I'm going to take and press the display and bring it up. And then hold it down. And then eventually it should do a reset. There you go. It's doing a reset. And it is actually still 100% charged. Oh, no, there you go. See, it dropped down to 90%. So, you might want to do that periodically. If your jackeries have been sitting for a while, go ahead and press and hold that display until it does a reset, and then it'll show you what the actual charge on it is. So, when we bought these jackeries, um, two of them at one time, two jackeries, because they were doing like a deal on them, so it came with the jackeries, um, they each came with a 100 watt foldable solar panel, which folds in half. It's not super, super portable because it's not that light, but this is more like car camping, emergency use at home, you know, uh, travel where, you know, you're not going to be like hiking in anywhere. That's the type this is because, um, I'm not sure what the exact weight on this is. But it's pretty heavy, and I'll show you real quick what the dimensions are. So I did on just check the weight on it, and it's 14 pounds. So it's not super heavy, but again, nothing you'd want to go hiking with or anything like that. So let's see what the dimensions are. So, whoops, I guess it'd help if I showed. Looks like about 10 inches wide, and at the tallest point, let's see here, about 10 and a half inches tall. And let's see how deep it is. Um, so about six inches wide, roughly. And we used these last time for the winter storm when we lost uh, electric. We used it mostly for charging up our ham radios. We did use it um, for a time to um, use it to power the internet box because believe it or not, there was no power but there was still internet if you had power. So the internet company stayed up. We have fiber running to our property, which is surprising because we're over 20 miles away from town. So not, it's pretty good to have on hand. But so again, we wanted to be able to hear what was going on out there and hear the latest news. And everybody knows if you want to know what's going on, listen to the ham radio operators because a lot of them are also first responders or backup responders, like, uh, like I don't know what you call them. They're, they're part of that group that goes out and helps with disasters, but they're actually ham radio operators. It would charge your smartphone, um, depending on how big it is. Some of these newer iPhones that are like, you know, the iPhone, iPhone 57, I don't know how many times, but my iPhone, it will charge around 53 times. Um, I didn't try it all 53 times, but it did continually charge. And it says it will do a MacBook for around seven charges. I don't know if that would be that important to some people. And a 32-inch TV for about seven and a half hours. Like I said, we didn't run it for seven and a half hours. We used the internet basically, and we didn't worry about the TV and all that. We were more interested now, to in to recharge the... this Jackery, since it is a, a, an Explorer 500, with the 100-watt panel, and that's if you're getting optimal sun, it is going to take about nine hours, again, depending on the weather, to do a full recharge. Um, we've never let it run down far enough. Um, basically, if we weren't using it, and even when it's freezing cold outside, you still have sun, so we'd go ahead and pop that solar panel out there get it charged back up. This Jackery has the input, so you can plug it into your wall and charge it, which is much quicker. By wall, it's about six hours to a full charge. And then, of course, you've got your DC um, outputs. You have three USB ports. You have the 110, and that's this about Jackery, it. This I think it's probably, might be all Jackeries. It also has a light on the side. Again, we didn't use it because we have uh, plenty of 
good flashlights that are rechargeable and we would just recharge them rather than running the jackery down to have a light and it's not like i said at 14 pounds you're going to be hauling it through your house to use as a flashlight so i'm not sure exactly what the purpose of that is but i guess if you were out camping it could serve a purpose one thing that and and it's probably in the paperwork somewhere i didn't read it but one thing that i did find out is on those days in texas when you have sun like beating down on you and it's 115 116 degrees these will do a self-protection shutdown and what i found is the the best way to prevent that from happening is to make sure that you have some type of shade on it but i mean even then if it's hot enough outside even under the shade i think the the temperature it says it'll start a shutdown is at like a hundred but I'm not positive on that, but definitely think about that one. Um, Cause like I said, if you're down South, you're gonna hit those temps. So that's just something to keep in mind if you need and it. And what it comes with, it comes with a, a little pouch right here. And the pouch contains your wall charger, um, DC charger. And then the panel comes with the connectors attached to it already to um, connect to your jackery but this little kit also came with an insulated bag which is nice an insulated carrying bag and that's nice to have and it's got a strap to carry on your shoulder or a hand strap and it fits nice and snugly in there and like I said the panel I'm not sure exactly what the panels weigh but like I said they're not heavy but they're definitely not super lightweight they're not like foldable to the point like the rock pile is, basically folds in half. Jackery we keep stored inside the house. Um, we have a shelf that's kind of behind our chairs and we have it sitting on there inside the little pack. And the panels, because they are bigger and the heat doesn't really affect them, I store them out in the big metal building. The capacity on this is 24 amp hours, 21.6 volts or 518.4 watt output. Output. It's a 500 watt max continuous with a thousand watt surge and peak. there's the solar panel. It comes, they have these like little um, kickouts for when you're charging them. They're Velcro, but that's how it folds in half. And then it's like a magnetic. And we, like I said, we keep them in the shed because it's not that they take up a lot of space. I'm sure we could figure somewhere, but I keep them on with all my camping gear. So, one thing I do make sure, I never put anything heavy on top of it. Like, I might store, you know, a sleeping bag or something lighter on it, but I wouldn't put anything heavy on it for sure. Like I said, they're not like rugged out, you know, military, they're, they're sturdy, but I, I wouldn't say they're like ruggedized. I forgot. Another one of the things that I run on this when the power goes out is our property alarms, the security alarms, not the alarms themselves because they're solar and we have them set up at different parts on our property to let us know if someone's coming in one way or the other, one's on the driveway, but to charge the base for it because they don't take much power. They're, they're small and like I said, you know, they're just doing an RF signal. So it doesn't take a lot of power to run them, but definitely when there's no power is when I wanna know when someone's on my property. And you know what I mean. So anyway, um, overall, I like the Jackeries. I like the quality. I think they're really good quality actually. And they're a little more um, affordable than some and a little more expensive than others, but I think they're just kind of like right in that perfect median where they're not too expensive and you know you're not losing quality so if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments and i'll check them and respond back to you and if you're interested in the alarms the property alarms let me know it's just a little e marcos but um i can go over that and show you how we have some of that set up